Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, let's compare the 0.965 eyepiece to 1.25 inch eyepiece. Without any further ado, let's get started. On the left side, you can see the 0.965 inch eyepiece which comes from the F760 telescope. It is the stock eyepiece while on the right side, you can see the 20mm 1.25 inch eyepiece. By placing the eyepiece side by side, you can see the difference in diameter size. The left one is smaller and the right one is slightly bigger. You will also notice the length size. They aren't similar. Aside from 20mm eyepiece, we also have the 4mm 0.965 inch eyepiece in comparison to 4mm 1.25 inch eyepiece. This one is the 4mm 1.25 inch plus hole eyepiece that comes with a rubber cup that you can remove. It depends on what you prefer when observing. And for the size, uh, again, the left one is smaller and the right one is slightly bigger. We also have a 23mm 1.25 inch eyepiece that comes with a rubber cup which you can remove. And let's compare it side by side to 20mm 0.965 inch eyepiece and for the Barlow lens the one that I have right here is the 2x achromatic Barlow 1.25 inch in size comparing it to the 0.965 inch 3x Barlow lens of the f760 telescope you can see the difference in size the right one is shorter which is more compact than the left one if you want to use the 1.25 inch eyepiece you will need an adapter that allows you to attach your eyepiece to the telescope and the adapter is called the 0.965 inch to 1.25 inch eyepiece adapter which allows you to place the 1.25 inch eyepiece so that it will be compatible to your telescope and this is how the 1.25 inch eyepiece adapter works with your 1.25 inch eyepiece one of the advantage of using 1.25 inch eyepiece compared to the 0.965 inch eyepiece of the F760 telescope is that when you want to use a smartphone to lens adapter. So I have here two different smartphone adapters. They both uh, work great for the 1.25 inch eyepiece except for the 0.965 inch eyepiece. So let me show you an example. Uh, this one is already maxed out so I can no longer adjust it. And if I place a 0.965 inch eyepiece, you can see that it is wobbly. It's not fully uh, grip on the mount. So that's the problem. It's quite loose due to its smaller diameter size. So now if I try to use the 1.25 inch eyepiece, I can readjust the mount or the adapter. And I can place the 1.25 inch eyepiece and I can fully grip it on. And lock it in place as you can see if I try to move the 1.25 inch eyepiece that is attached to the smartphone to lens adapter it doesn't come loose it is because to its larger diameter size the same problem with this one if I use a 0.965 inch eyepiece and placing it to the smartphone adapter due to its smaller size it will come loose even you fully adjusted the smartphone to lens adapter and if I place a 1.25 inch eyepiece, it will fit perfectly. You'll just have to tighten up the screws and you're good to go. Therefore, most of the smartphone to eyepiece adapter are made for 1.25 inch eyepiece because it is the standard size for the eyepieces of the telescope because the 0.965 inch eyepiece are outdated or phased out. 